constantly sell, telling guys who have a problem, like guys who have a relationship situation or, oh, I want to get this girl. I don't know how to get this girl. And yeah, I can tell you, I can teach technique to do that. But the ultimate thing is, I always say this real game is no game. If you're if you're if you yes. if there's an honesty in what you're saying, then that rings as safe and safe. A first thing a woman wants to feel is safe. But th if there's deception then deception becomes dangerous, dangerous becomes, yo, I I'm out of here. Th that feeling that women feel that creepiness is 200,000 years of of um, of of evolution that they get to to the point where they're hyper sensitive because it could mean their life or it could be a sexual assault. What's interesting is, guys, we know that. And then we don't even know how to talk in a way that that doesn't trigger that. So if you're honest, then you don't need a like like a guy. I'll get a guy and he'll say, um, I met this girl. I really like you. How long? How many days should I wait before I call? I go. The fact that you are asking me that you're going to not be with this girl because you're already kind of you're trying to strategize. And the only reason why you have to strategize is if you're playing a game and if you're playing a game, somebody has to lose. But you're not even coming from an honest place. But to no, but I like I like um, I feel like honesty is a policy. I also think more guys should ask questions. You can, there is a strange sort of confidence to asking a question. So instead of going, how long should I wait to call her? You know, what you don't realize is that vulnerability can it can equate to confidence. So you can say, sure, sure. Hey, hey, look, um, you know, look, I'm so into you. I want to call you like tonight. You yesterday. Know? But I also, <laughs> yeah, yesterday. That's the, you've got game. That's true. Yeah. Everybody knows that about Dante. <laughs> but I, I want to call you yesterday. If I had a time machine, I would just go back so I could spend more time with you before I met you. Right. And and, and then you say, but look, you know, I don't want to overdo it. So I'm going to leave the ball in your court. You call me when you want to, but know that I'm I'm excited to talk to you because I'm I'm really, well, really you know what? One, even and one then better you're asking a question. You're saying, yeah. how, how often do you want me to call? What is too much? That seems really, really. Well, I, I think what has to happen. I think what I where I come from a lot of times is I, I don't care about the time. I'm going to do what I want to do. Because what I want to do is true to me. And if you don't like the way I do things, we probably are not. We're probably not going to match up anyway. If you got if you think that because I call you the next day or I call you two days later or whatever it is, if you think that means something, then there's already this situation where you got to understand I, this is what I am. And, and as long as I am who I am and I know that and I'm aware of my flaws and so on, and I'm, I'm telling you who, the, who that is, I don't have to hide anything. So and, and the reality is we all make these situations where we're what I call is you're shoplifting the pussy. You're trying to get a chick and you don't have the money in hey, your pocket. Shoplifting the pussy. That's a new <laughs> thing we're going to talk about in our household. <laughs> you got it. You it's because you, you you shoplifting. You know you don't got the money for what you for what you think this value is. So you're gonna try and finagle when you and I was when you go yeah, to the when try, you go to the yeah, or try and get away with it for free, saying, "Hey, why don't you just come over to my place? I'll get a bottle of wine." It's like you got the money to take this girl out and spend I mean, even, on her. But why here's the I thing: even if it is just a bottle of wine, and this is what you want to do. Even doing that is the truth in who you are. Like if yeah, you're like, I mean, not not just you're right, you're right. I said that incorrectly. Not just, you know, go and drop the dough if you've got it. It's also have it be the bottle of wine, but also leave, you know, uh, some post-its all over the house and in the back that just says one nice thing, one, <laughs> one compliment, one thing yeah. that you really like about her. And all of us should be searching for not a girl who you kind of get along well with or she thinks you're calling too much or you don't know if you're asking me, but you want to be, you want to spend the bulk of your time if you can find it. And you should be looking for a girl who wants to hang out with you as much as possible. Also. Right. Right. You know, right. And really if, and if she girl, doesn't want to hang out with you, then this is not a chick you should be with. Yeah, so what, what I'm saying, it next. never, as long as you're true to what, it, what you really think it, 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 there's a, there's a sexiness to that. And it's like, yo, I, I just, well, I don't really pick, I don't really talk on the, I don't talk on the phone. I text, 
I'm like, well, then we can't talk because I'm not texting. Like, yeah, if, exactly. if, if, you, I, I'm just not doing that because if you if this is how you want this kind of thing at a distance, I'm, I'm going to call you on the phone because I want to call you on the phone. And that's true. That's what makes me comfortable. And I'm not saying I won't make compromises, but I'm saying I'm true to what I am. And what's interesting is when you stop asking people what your value is and you tell them what your value is, who else knows you better than you do? I think that's absolutely right. And I think it's ask them questions about them. Yeah. Tell them your value. I think the hardest thing is you have somebody that you don't like jive with at all. Then it's kind of easy to walk away. Right. Right. You find some girl that's head over heels about you and same you to her. Yeah. Then that's easy to stick around. The tough thing to do is get in a relationship, see some red flags Say, you know, she's done some things that I really don't think I would do to a mm-hmm. person. Right, she's right. She's said some mean things. She's treated me a certain way. Of course, this can, you know, he's done this or he's done that. And the tough thing there is if you get along with them and you're having fun, but those red flags are there, I always kind of encourage people to say, you know, look, why don't, why don't you kind of let this go? Because the worst that can happen is you'll get back together. Right. Because, you know. It, it will work out. Um, and the best that can come of it is you go back to working on one of the most important things, which is meeting people, which is so hard to do nowadays, so especially during the pandemic. But, you know, it's better to leave something that's going to take time away from you meeting people um, that is like you're kind of settling. Yeah. You know, it's hard to get out of that because everybody's afraid of being alone. School 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't.